part one of the book of Matthew, which is the first book of the New Testament, which is a new covenant between man and God by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, written by Matthew, who is also called Levi, a Jew who was a Roman tax collector was called by our Lord Jesus Christ to be one of the disciples, which is stated in chapter 10, verse 3 of the book of Matthew. Matthew chapter 10, verse 3. This book was written about 60 AD, after after the death and the resurrection of Christ, that the book of Matthew was written, 60 AD. The purpose was to show that Jesus Christ of Nazareth was the kingly Messiah of Jewish prophecy. He's the anointed Messiah, the king of the Jews. And the key words in the book of Matthew is kingdom, which appears 50 times. And then kingdom of heaven also appeared or mentioned 30 times. The king in the person of Jesus Christ appears several times when Jesus was told Jesus the king. Then it also fulfilled, meaning the Old Testament prophecies were fulfilled in Christ in the New Testament. The key verse of the book of Matthew is Matthew Matthew chapter 16 verse 16 to 19 when jesus asked them who do you think i am and peter said you are christ the son of the living god the savior of the world and jesus replied that flesh and blood has not revealed this to you but by the spirit of the lord and jesus ancestral background from abraham to David, according to the book of Matthew, is 14 generation. From David to Babylonian captivity is also 14 generation. From captivity to the birth of Christ is also another 14 generations. Jesus was a Nazarene, Nazarene or Nazarite, a Nazarene, meaning he was special and also peculiar among normal men. It means Jesus could not do certain things because he was a Nazarene. He was also a prophet according to Old Testament prophecies. Jesus was also a king. He fulfills that duty as a king. And Jesus also is a savior and also a God in human form who came to die and save mankind. A king with a new kingdom from heaven to be established forever. Daniel talks about when God revealed a dream about the future to King Nebuchadnezzar. About all the empires, all the empires that will be conquered by the kingdom of our Lord and Savior Jesus. In Daniel chapter 2 verse 24 to 49. The book of Matthew was written addressed primarily to the Jews. There are 60 references to Jewish prophecies and 40 or 40 quotations from the Old Testament which also points to Jesus as the king of the Jews. It is fulfilled in Matthew chapter 2, verse 2, Matthew chapter 21, verse 5, Matthew chapter 22, verse 11, Matthew chapter 25, verse 34, Matthew chapter 27, verse 11, Matthew chapter 27, verse 37, and verse 42, where it was mentioned Jesus, the king. Jesus, the king. Analysis. Analysis. We're going to look at the kingship of Jesus Christ. Because Matthew wrote about Jesus as a king. 
which represent a lion among the four living creatures. And Jesus fulfills that he is the king of the Jews and the what? And the lion of the tribe of Judah, which is the main lineage that leads to the coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus. So Jesus belongs to the Jewish tribe. Analysis, the kingship of Jesus Christ. The story of the kingly Messiah is told by the lineage or the lineage or the lineage and the birth of Christ in Matthew chapter 1. The baby was searched in Matthew chapter 2 verse 2. The baby was adorned or the adoration of the baby Jesus. Matthew chapter 2 verse 11. And then he, the baby was heralded. You know, heralds of our Lord and Savior Jesus as a baby. Uh, Matthew chapter 3 verse 1 to 12. When he began his ministry. And John the Baptist began to testify and talk about him. And then there was a spiritual victory of Jesus' temptation. Matthew chapter 4 verse 1 to 11. Proclamation. Proclamation of Jesus Christ by the Father. Matthew chapter 4 verse 17. And then summoning the followers of Jesus Christ. Matthew chapter 4 verse 18 to 22. The laws and mandates of Christ. The laws and mandates of Christ. Also shown which is about the Sermon on the Mount. Which is Matthew chapter 5, Matthew chapter 6, Matthew chapter 7. The words and works of Jesus Christ. Matthew chapter 8 to Matthew chapter 12. It talks about the words that Jesus spoke and his works, his uh, miracles and then performances. And then parables were, parable were given in Matthew chapter 13. And then the matter of his proclaimer, Matthew chapter 14 verse 1 to 12. Jesus' power over natural forces and diseases, you know, as a king. Matthew chapter 14 verse 14 to 36. Matthew chapter 15, verse 32 to 39. His revelation, Jesus' revelation of the dullness of man and his own coming suffering and the glory of our Lord and Savior Jesus. Matthew chapter 16 and Matthew chapter 17. Jesus' instructions concerning the principles of the kingdom. Matthew chapter 18 to Matthew chapter 20. His triumphal entry into Jerusalem, his rejection, the parables Jesus spoke, and the prophecies before his uh, trial and crucifixion. Matthew chapter 21, verse 1 to 22, verse 14. And then foiling of the plots of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Matthew chapter 22, verse 15 to 49. And then Jesus did uh, the, the denunciation of the leaders. They denounced Jesus that he is not the savior. He is not the king of the Jews. He is rather, you know, uh, you know, saying things against uh, God and against the law. Matthew chapter 23. Prophecies and parables about the future Jesus gave. It's Matthew chapter 24 and Matthew chapter 25. Events that is leading to the betrayal of Jesus. Matthew chapter 26, verse 1 to 46. Jesus' trial, he tried in Matthew chapter 26, verse 57 to 75. And then Matthew chapter 27, verse 1 to 31. His crucifixion, Matthew chapter 27, verse 21 to 50. His death. Matthew chapter 27, verse 51 to 56. His resurrection and Jesus commissioning the disciples. Matthew chapter 28. God richly bless you. Richly bless you.